Hello guys, welcome to this week's episode of The Fower Show! And today we're going to talk about microphones and some of the microphones you might want to think about when recording your video and some of the videos that you might want to make. So if you're thinking about what the best microphone for you, I just want to help you decide what is the best microphone for you, if that makes sense. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's crack on with the video. So do not go anywhere. So the first microphone I want you to think about is obviously the camera or phone that you use will have an internal microphone. That will be perfectly fine for internally or recording inside and stuff like that perhaps. But if you want better audio because 50% of all our videos are obviously audio and we want the best audio in all our videos so you want the best audio possible and I highly recommend something like a, a shotgun microphone you can get one like this or much bigger if you will if you want to get a decent one you can spend 50 to 100 pounds or dollars or higher but to start you off there's nothing wrong with just a little one this costs about 15 20 and you basically just plug it on top of your camera make sure the camera or phone has the right adapter. Um, obviously more expensive cameras tend to have mic jacks where less expensive cameras do not. Uh, but a lot of phones nowadays have the right connection or you can get an adapter that you can connect into that. And it just attaches nicely on top of the camera and off you go, which is just a great way to improve your audio. And that's something to think about when when recording your videos. So why do I like this camera? And so what tips I'd think about, <laughs> this microphone even, um, is just have it on top of the camera, have it no further away than sort of maybe a foot, foot and a half, maybe a meter, absolute most. And make sure the microphone is pointing towards you is a good little tip I would use, sort of, that's it, about like that. <laughs> just make sure it's in the shop. Um, and that's something to bear in mind when doing your filming and then you'll get the best audio. Now, if you're recording outside, make sure whatever microphone you're using has some sort of boom mic or has like a little phone like this, because without it, you will get that annoying on the microphone when you're recording outside from the wind, which is really, really irritating. Smash like if you're getting value so far from this video. Um, <laughs> but that is definitely a microphone I would consider using. And I use this type of microphone a lot when I'm recording and editing short head videos or if I'm doing like short films and stuff like that. This is my go-to. And some little things you could do, you could actually get an extender cable or a wireless one to plug it to your camera or phone, put it on a second tripod or a boom mic tripod, have it hanging above you out shot so you get that better audio, or if you want the camera to be further away, you know, there's lots of things you could play around with with these sort of microphones. Now, the other sort of microphone I would recommend um, is a clipper mic or a rappel mic. Uh, <laughs> and now mine's a bit all tangled, look at it, <laughs> it's all over the place. Uh, it's like a a nest, a bird nest, but basically just this little tiny microphone. You've probably seen these on when you're watching the news or documentaries and stuff like that. And you get these usually in white and black, but you probably get in other colors. And the same principle applies. You can attach a little foam to it, so it, it breaks that annoying, <coughs> you guessed it, that annoying wind noise, which is really irritating. And it basically just clips on here, um, and you can record really nice audio, especially when you're recording indoors or outdoors. And uh, a little power tip actually, what I've done with these little microphones in the past is I've actually connected them to a second tripod just outside of shop and that produces really nice audio. And this only cost me 10 pounds or dollars. Um, or oh, that'd be whatever the exchange rate is today. It changes every day, doesn't it? Um, and that just produces massive in massive improvements to the audio within my video. And that's something that I really, really like. So that's something I've also done. Now, the reason I haven't done it quite as much as a shotgun mic is it is, is a little bit more fiddly, and you can improve that with a wireless uh, microphone, uh, but obviously that costs more. That costs about 100, 150 pounds or dollars. But it could be something you might want to think about. It breaks away the use of wires. You don't have that annoying bird nest that I just had, and that's something you might want to think about to improve your audio. Because at the end of the day, people are more forgiving if you do have really good audio, if the video isn't necessarily the best. But obviously, best of both worlds, if you can do best, if you can make both, then you will be fine. Just before we carry on, I just want you guys to check out our merch. If you would like to help our brand and support the channel, why not check out our merch? We've got t-shirts, we've got mugs, and from time to time we add to the list. So go check it out, link in the description. And also, if you want to support the channel, like and subscribe this video. 
absolute value. Hit like and subscribe if you're getting absolute value. And as that little ad just said, if you want to support the channel, check our merch and feel free to buy one of our mugs or t-shirts. Mm. Absolute value then. Do not go anywhere because there's another microphone I want you to consider. I don't know if you can see it, and I don't want to move it because it'll break the audio on this particular video, and that's the last thing I want considering everything I talked about. But you might want to consider something like a recorder. Now I'm using a Zoom H1N, and uh, it's a really, it's basically a recorder or dictaphone, and I've basically got it. You know when you see those um, live streams and people doing, you know, streaming or inside a um, radio studio, for example, you get the big like boom mics that will connect to a table. And I've got a recorder connected to the end of that, and that's what I'm using today for the audio. So if I just turn my head slightly, you can hear the sound quality, and as I get closer, the sound quality of this particular microphone. And what's really cool about this particular microphone, you can adjust the audio quality, how far its gain is, how far it needs to pick up your audio. So you can actually be quite far away from it, and it will still pick up your your voice, which is brilliant. And, and they're really good for recording like sound effects or nature, sounds, and all that sort of jazz. That's something else to think about. And I basically use it for my live streams or recording videos or videos like I'm doing today because it just produces really good audio, which I hope you guys agree. Smash like if you're getting value. Now these are some of the microphones you might wanna consider depending on the situation. If you have any questions, please feel free to put in the comments below. Now question of the day then, what type of microphone are you using and why? Just be really interested to find out what microphones you're using. And I just wanna say, if you got value from today's video, thank you so much for watching. And I'm gonna leave you two New end cards that are going to give you absolute value. See you in the next video. You guys rock. Do -do 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 -do.